All right, we are back in the family room, and we're joined now by Dr. Madalena Barazzi. She is the president of the Ocean Conservation Society, and she's here with us, shedding a little light on uh, you know a, a passion that Jen and I, or a, a opportunity that we had that really sort of put a special spark in our lives. You've been studying dolphins here in the Santa Monica Bay Area. How long have you been studying overall, though? I studied dolphin almost uh, 24 years now, of which uh, the last 16 here in Santa Monica Bay, so a long time. <laughs> so you've had numerous encounters with them, one in particular that we talked about at the beginning of the show. Can you tell us the story of yeah, that, that was something that happened about 10 years ago. Uh, I was following bottomless dolphins that move along shore. You were following, excuse me, the? They're called bottomless dolphins. Oh, the bottlenose. Uh, the bottlenose. Flipper, basically. The flipper. Okay. Everybody knows okay, flipper. the bottlenose dolphin, okay, yes. <laughs> and they move really close to shore and they stop here and there to feed. But that day, one of the individual in this group moved offshore. And that was kind of unusual for uh, um, these uh, dolphins. So we followed them for our, with our research boat. And uh, they brought us about uh, three miles offshore, and they form a circle. And I noticed that in that circle, uh, there was what I thought was an object, but it wasn't an object going closer. It was a girl, all dressed. And uh, as we moved closer, she raised her head as a plea for help. So I immediately called the Coast Guard, and they told us, don't do anything. We come there. And uh, I look at this girl, she looked very hypothermic. So we decided to disregard the advice of the Coast Guard and take her aboard with us. And uh, we couldn't communicate, and we took her back. And I noticed she was all dressed, as she had a plastic bag attack attached to her neck. And the Coast Guard met us going back, and then we went uh, to the Marina del Rey Hospital. And the doctor told us that the girl was safe and she would be okay. And she was from Germany, vacationing here. And she, in a letter in her bag, she was committing suicide. Oh. And that's when I thought about how we found this girl. It was thanks to the dolphin. Uh, if it wasn't for them, we would have never saved her. So it was a they pretty amazing her. experience. Okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So how did they perceive that three yeah, miles away? away. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, you know like they, they perceive they, the distress. They perceive uh, who knows? They perceive wow. the distress. They hear very well uh, underwater. Uh -huh. They can uh, you know they can echolocate. They communicate with uh, other dolphins. So who knows exactly how they found her? But they did. So but as part of the research that you do on dolphins, what are you currently researching right now? My research uh, is becoming more and more conservation oriented because I see a lot of problem with these animals. So right now I'm studying Problems like what? What, what skin you... diseases, a physical deformity. These animals sometimes have tumors. Uh, we see things that we see in humans. Is so that from animals. all the pollution in the water? There is, you know, can be due to environmental factor, but for sure is also due to pollutants. And there are more and more studies that are coming out. And our study through our nonprofit was the first study on the West Coast. And now there are studies all over the world. Well, what is the biggest discovery that you've made during your research here in Los Angeles? Well, when I moved here from uh, Italy, you notice the yeah. accent. Yes. <laughs> what accent? What accent? accent? I don't Picking hear Picking up on anything. I thought you, you were like from Georgia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About uh, what was it, 18 years ago, oh. um, I went out, I was sailing with my husband, and I noticed all this diversity of dolphins and whales here, and I discovered that nobody ever studied them. And I thought it was pretty amazing in a city where you have millions of people going to the beach every day and nobody studied dolphins. So the first thing was really to understand what species are the, here, what they are doing. And then I went to study more specific things, like I studied the interaction between dolphins and sea lions. The sea lions are really funny. They follow the dolphins uh, because they use the same feeding area. So it's, uh, this is one, one of the study. I studied their behavior, how they interact with each other, uh, and uh, with other species. Are the mothers the same with their children? It's a very it's a very good question. I talk about it in my book, especially in my last book, Dolphin Confidential, how the relationship between a mother and a calf in a way is very similar um, a mom and her baby. They stay together for a long time, often more than two years, and the mother teach everything to the calf. So it's a very strong bond, like 
like we have. Yeah. Can you actually communicate with a, a dolphin if you, uh, you know, had one that you just, I, I don't know, you can't make them a pet, but you know how they do in the, in the aquariums where they actually can communicate with the dolphins to get them to do certain things? Have you noticed that they can do that in the ocean? Well, we study them mostly from a boat, but many times uh, we, you saw in some of this video, they are bow riding, they come uh, on the bow. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh. And uh, I look at them and I study them. I look at their behavior and they turn around and they look yeah. at me. <laughs> and you know, there is really that connection there. So you can communicate with words, but you can communicate uh, in other way. Yeah. They, as you experience, yeah. probably don't need words. Yeah. The, um, tell us a little bit about how you can adopt a dolphin. Yes, uh, good question. Yeah. <laughs> Through our nonprofit, Ocean Conservation Society, we have this, uh, we call a family of dolphins that we put out for adoption. And it's a way for us to support our research. It's very difficult to continue to do uh, research. So the, you can adopt the dolphins. We have uh, six dolphins out for adoption. My favorite is Mozza, short for mozzarella. Mo My favorite is yeah. yeah. cheese. Well, how do you, wow, when you adopt, what, does, yes. what, what does that mean? And you're not taking this dolphin home. No, even if somebody once called me and I said, how do you, how do you bring this dolphin home? What do I need to put in my pool? I said, yeah. no. <laughs> they tag them no. so they can follow them and see what their progress is. We actually take picture of the dorsal fins of uh -huh. this animal and they work as a human fingerprint. So, so oh. they can tell us the identity of almost every individual in a school. So we have names. Each dolphin has a name. Mozza, Nico, mm -hmm. should put the call next one, Jenna. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so the one out for adoption have names. We can follow them. We know when they come back. So we give a certificate with information about the dolphins, where they were seen. That helps you support, helps help, support your research. It helps us to support our so research. So their dors yes. dorsal fin is like a fingerprint and each one has an individual one like humans? Yes, they have uh, notches. Uh, uh -huh. So they are all uh, different. Uh, wow. And uh, if you take pictures, uh, you can recognize every single animal. Wow. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Wow, so Jenna's decision now, you're either going home with a unicorn <laughs> or a dolphin. <laughs> you can pick. Yeah. You have to decide before you leave today. That's the, that's the simple thing. Give me a minute. <laughs> so, me wait a minute. for it, wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Doctor, for being here and all the yes. work that you do for these for wonderful, you. wonderful animals. To learn more about ocean conservation, adopting it often, you can uh, visit, uh, or even the two books that uh, uh, the doctor has out, you can go to our website, uh, hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family.